Alright. I found instructions on how to squirt. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no use for this, but hey, if you uh if you watch this show and you've been thinking about it, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read this on the show. It's gonna be uncomfortable for everybody. <laughs> Is um, it? I should have sent it to you, but I'm gonna do it. I let me see if what I, it's what I think it is. So well, it's not really instructions on how to. It is, but it's mainly like w- with using a rose or like a toy. Oh. So I read it and I was like, this is interesting. I didn't okay. know any of this stuff. So maybe it'll be some insight for the fellas and some good old fashioned tips <laughs> for the for for the ladies. And, I will um, say it is easier <laughs> to do that with a toy. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Then penich. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, or finger. Thank Za the Stali. Um, because this was her response to just a tweet that said DJ to DJ. Wow. Yep. So they took that out of context. <laughs> All right. So how to squirt with your rose. <laughs> Number one, pee before you start. Number two, don't clench your abdomen when using a rose. Release your abdomen like you're trying to pee. Mm -hmm. Number three, focus on breathing. Okay. So far, so good? Yeah, I never focus on breathing. Number four, don't stop if you feel like peeing. Let it rain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number five, try sitting on the floor with your legs to your chest when using a rose. Oh, no. It's going to go everywhere. No. They even showed the position. It's like you on the porch, just chilling. <laughs> no. You need Dexter, Dexter's kill room. Oh, you wow. Know? <laughs> the plastic all over the place. It says, number six, the last one, it says, if you feel like it's close, stop for a few minutes and start again till you can't take it anymore. Mm-hmm. When it finally comes, it would be fireworks. Mm-hmm. I just picture a sprinkler. Sprinkler like. Wow. It's quite easy to do with a toy, I will say that. Mm -hmm. With a toy, it's like, I don't know, the vibrators. I've never used a rose. I don't own a rose. I I fear the rose. I hear it'll change your life. I don't want my life changed. (laughs) I don't. Because, I mean, it seems like people get addicted to that. And what I've heard, and I haven't done that much research on it, but Mm -hmm. I don't want to be desensitized to being able to have an orgasm from natural sex. Mm -hmm. And so I've I've heard that it kind of affects your actual, like, person, person, interpersonal I heard women talk about it like a cigarette break. Like, they're just (laughs) like, how much time before I have to leave? 20 minutes? All right, I can get a little rose in. Yeah, and and I feel like your body will get so used to that that you know the non vibrating sexual activity might mm-hmm. you know might That's what they say about porn yeah it like desensitizes right uh, well it it like Jade. from what I know become jaded yeah it's like building a tolerance mm-hmm. how you drink you know two shots you used to get you drunk and now it takes four then it mm-hmm. takes six then it takes you know so I feel like the same thing with porn. The more you watch it, the more you build up a tolerance. And so you then, don't want to be addicted to the rose. So then you out here on all fours getting walked, you know, with a leash. Oh, yeah. And nothing, all... else, <laughs> nothing else does it. That's when you start right. watching the shit with the ropes. <laughs> like, right. That's when you start sending messages, asking to sniff farts, mm-hmm. swallow farts. Nothing else. <laughs> nothing else does it, huh? Nothing does it. No, that makes sense. They They need a... They need a, a dick rose, a rose for niggas. Well, y'all got the y'all got the pocket pussy. Is y'all got the, the fleshlight. <laughs> yeah, but I like mean, y'all just y'all get to sit there with the rose. But y'all don't. I don't know. Y'all have. I've seen some stuff that just you put it on and it's like balls that just stroke it. You know, like on what? the side. It's like you put your whole member Mm -hmm. inside of it and then on the sides it like it almost it almost has like a sucking motion Mm. you know i've seen (laughs) oh god pocket bj (laughs) 
<laughs> so I, I we just have weird looking stuff like a fucking half torso that you got to pull out and smash. Which I, I just feel like I would never purchase that. Y'all should because look like animals. I would feel like a serial killer if that was in my closet. The half, the mini half torsos are like. It's, it's I don't want to have sex disgusting. with a headless, armless, like legless woman. <laughs> That's when niggas are just like, just the vajayjay. I think the worst thing about it is the jiggle. Because, like, they have, like, the half, just oh, the little booties? torso and just the booty, and they be smacking it and jiggling it. And it's just like, it's just that. It just looks like, I don't know. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like you about to cook it or something like, like meat. You know how meat is, the, it comes in portions. You know, it doesn't. Oh, like, you don't like, get, some, like a butcher. Yeah. How a butcher so you would prepare get a slabs human. And, you know? It is not <laughs> sexy. And and at the end of the day, we still have to smash it. Like, you just turn the rose on and sit there, but we still have to, like, have sex with this weird thing. What happened to blow up dolls? Y'all used to love that. What was that? That's even weirder. <laughs> a damn blow, like, and and you when you look at them, they look like them damn inflatable hammers that at, be at amusement parks, <laughs> the squeaky ones. Mm-hmm. So it's like I don't see what how that material that's filled with air would make like would feel good. And Maybe the mouth and the holes have different a material. Different, uh-huh. But like then they look they look weird. It looks like the, the clowns with the huge yeah. mouth, like oh <laughs> the ones that you in the the, the fair, <laughs> the carnival that you be throwing, or you shoot the gun, mm-hmm. the water gun. Sus, by the way. But they do have those realistic ones that you can pay like what twenty five hundred dollars. Oh, and it's like a full woman that feels. See, I would fuck those things. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just saying, if I was down bad and I was like, I had to pick a toy, and the chance, the choices were blow up doll, the old school ones, the half meat ones (laughs) that's just a booty or a torso, and a full woman that talks and stuff like that. She don't talk. Oh, I'm just yeah, she do. Those talk don't since they? when? I don't know. I don't know. No, they don't. Well, it's talk. right around the corner because Elon Musk is gonna bring build one that you can fuck. I already know. <laughs> but I would rather if I was going to like take myself out of it and fuck an inanimate object. I'd, I'd rather it look like a woman, not a, mm-hmm. a murdered, chopped up woman yeah, or a, a toy. You know, that's crazy. They um, and you could get them customized. You can get a black one, dark skin one, light skin one. You get mm-hmm. a white one, blonde hair, brunette. That's what Build a Bear you know, should have been. Get, you know, huge titties, small titties, mm-hmm. huge ass, huge hips. You know, create a so, character. Yeah, you mm-hmm. can get all that customized for fuckings. That'd be that'd be hard. I don't like how you have to like dump it. <laughs> You gotta clean it. That has to be the worst. I'll overshare. Like, okay, so. Oh no! <laughs> I've Give said this before. Me. I've said this before. Um, old school, all deaf. We shot a lot of wild stuff, right? Oh, this wild. Um, I produced. Um, it wasn't a show. It was just. It was just a one off. But there was a there was a a, a stint where I was just auditioning a bunch of old people. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> this is not and going I met, where I thought I met, it was. Uh, not auditioning for comedy. This oh, isn't sexual. Uh, um, and I just, I just got the the most hilarious, amazing group of old actors, comedians, and stuff like that. Older, okay. right? Like fifty plus. Okay. Um, and I was just doing like old people try this, old people try roasting, old people try all this stuff, right? Okay. And then the flashlight dropped, right? <laughs> so. We did um, old people unbox fleshlight toys. Nice. And so we had like these old, like, you know, older black women, older white dudes unboxing these things that would be like a Hulk penis or like a, <laughs> like a, like a fleshlight or like a, it was just like unboxing sex toys, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and they unboxed it and looked at it and then that was it. But mm-hmm. there was a lot that we didn't have time to use, right? Mm-hmm. So I passed them out. I was like, <laughs> oh. Everybody, oh everybody, take one, and I took two. <laughs> Which took ones a, did you take? I took a a regular size flashlight and a mini. <laughs> and here's it's it's I'll I'll walk I'll walk you through it against your own will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's essentially yeah. a flashlight, but you take the top off and it's just a a, it's, a, a vagina. Uh-huh. 
So apparently that led to the fucking half woman because people were just like, it's just the pussy, you mm -hmm. know. But to me, just the vagina compared to a half woman is actually better. <laughs> but I went, I did it once. And I was like, this is horrifying, right? Because Why? Didn't it end up just looking like you were, you just had something over it to like jack off? I got, I mean, it it was, I got why it was popular oh. because it was oh, nice. Oh, you understood. It was nice, especially as someone <laughs> who never goes raw. So I was like, this is cool. But it's like post-nut clarity with that oh. is so much worse than just re regular ma <laughs> masturbation. And then the cleaning process, I started it, I threw it away. I threw both of them away. Oh, you didn't even use the mini? No. Or did you use the mini and not the other? No, I used the regular. Because to oh. me, the mini was like, what, am I doing this on the go? <laughs> <laughs> on set, like, mm -hmm. oh, lunch? The travel size? <laughs> let, me, let me disappear in a, in, a, in a dressing room. On the plane? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I threw it away because I was like, the just looking at it, like, what the fuck am I doing? Then was like the, the, the okay, I'm about to clean it. And then I was like, this is disgusting I, mm -hmm. I read what you're supposed to do with like washing mm -hmm. it and dumping the, your, your your stuff out Ooh. it's basically like a, a, how a porta potty works you mm. know how like we're used to just flushing the boo-boo away mm. but porta potty the boo-boo is there you it's gotta there. you gotta swap it out mm -hmm. you gotta bring somebody in mm -hmm. and uh it was it was septic tank i was like i would i would rather deal with the dry spill because y'all don't y'all don't y'all not there for our cleanup process i mean Maybe you'll bring a hot towel every now and then, but <laughs> but well, in the grand scheme of body. things, you are shielded from the cleanup process with us. Well, not your own. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, like you know, so you don't have to deal with that. We but when to, you have your toys, we have our uh, we have our embarrassing solo cleanups I'm too. I'm sure. I'm sure. You just like. But when oh, it comes to doing? a woman's body, you having to if you have one of those like big. Those life size, realistic, ultra realistic um, sex dolls, uh, and you come inside of it, then getting it out, you might have to like get your rag and be like, eh, and just turn, them, turn them upside down like an old school bully <laughs> and shake them, like how niggas used to take lunch money. <laughs> get out of there. But I just imagine you having to like, it just would be kind of crazy. Like you having what, to, the dolls? Like, to clean the inside of it, unless it just comes out, you could just take the pussy out. <laughs> they should have it um, detachable. You ever have a, a drumstick, the ice cream, uh huh, and like halfway through it, the ice cream melt and starts coming out the the bottom mm -hmm. of the cone. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow! They should have like a little, you know, a little bottom a little part drip. with some chocolate in it, a, a little drip drain. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little chocolate treat at the bottom. Wow. All right, this has gotten gross enough. It is. All right, well, Perfect. that's how to squirt, guys. <laughs> was, was that your fact? No. No, that, <laughs> oh, that was, was just, just that was just ridiculousness that, that you was decided just an, to that bring. Was just an opening. Got it. Got it. Well, I have a fact. Okay. And mine does have to do with sex, but not really. Okay. Um, this is called the most prolific mother ever, which is the Guinness record holder of most children's by natural birth most children's most most children's most children children is already plural you're good with the s <laughs> most children by natural birth so that that pussy thing was popping them now, out uh, right now she had 69 people she has 69 kids what um yeah her name is mrs valsieva is that Russian for it giant is, pussy? It is Russian. Um, and it says, the greatest officially recorded number of children born to one mother is 69, to the wife of Fyodor Vasiev. 69? Vasiev. Mm -hmm. Were they twins? A peasant twins? from Russia. Were a lot of them twins? There were. Yeah. There were 27 births and 69 children. 27 births? She had 27 births. Let me get a calculator out. Mm -hmm. 69. This might not even be the math I'm supposed to do. <laughs> oh, so I'll, that means that almost all of them were twins or triplets. Um, she had some triplets. Um, I'll look it up. I'll be able nine. to tell you how many. That means you would have had to be... Wait, no, that's wrong. Because how many times does... 
okay, so what's the math here? You get you, you're pregnant for nine months, so sixty nine consecutive births. No, you said twenty seven, right? Twenty seven births. Twenty seven births at nine months each. That's two hundred and forty three days of being pregnant. <laughs> So no, she not. had... I think that math was wrong. I'm going to stop doing math on this because I don't get it. I'll just let you talk. That's okay. just being pregnant for most of your life. Okay. So she has 16 twins. Damn. Um, at 37 weeks, she has seven triplets. Seven tri- triplets. So that's 21. Mm-hmm. That's 53. And then the rest were singles? And four quadruplets. Holy shit. So that's 16. Oh, that's mm-hmm. 69. So she had no, at no point she had one kid. At, at It doesn't seem like it. She's out here putting up triple doubles. <laughs> she put in that work, okay? God dang. Her p- pussy probably looked like this. <gasps> you could probably do like this with her pussy. <sighs> you know them niggas who be playing the moonshine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't be live. <laughs> Got a nigga with a, a guitar with one string on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. That is a lot of um He wouldn't get off her. That's a lot of that's a lot of kids. He enjoyed and then the it's hell like, out of that. How boom, do you boom. raise 69 people? That's what's crazy, is like having a lot of kids isn't really a flex because it's like it's like taking a martial arts class with like a hundred people. Like you're mm-hmm. not gonna learn how to fight. You need a one on one instruction. <laughs> yeah, but um, a lot of times the kids help raise the kids. Exactly. So as they get older, you know, as they get older, so what you raise the first nine, and yeah. just hopefully it's a trickle down rest, effect. Yeah, the next sixty. Mm-hmm. The, the scary thing about that is like, at least three of them are going to be, be murderers. Failures? Murderers. Murderers? Yeah. Damn. I just said failures. 60, 70, pe- 70 people. If you polled 70 people, there's going to be some murderers. <laughs> there might even be some pedophiles. There's going to be some criminals. You might get, if you're lucky, 10 of them will be upstanding citizens. Well, and they said they were, it said they were peasants. So And they, and they grew up so in, in, in harsh environments. Mm-hmm. So, why, why, why would you put 70 more mouths in to feed? I don't know. I personally think that's kind of irresponsible. I think you're overpopulating at that point. And especially if you're in think? a if if you're in a situation where you can't you're in a a, a, a category where people say pez, the word peasant. Mm-hmm. Just just you and your your mate. Just imagine. Just have imagine protected sex. everybody had that amount of kids. No, it, the, we have enough traffic as it is. And I think that um what's the that's just insane to me because if you think about how expensive, just con- the condom to diaper ratio of there was no condoms. What 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 year was this? No, I'm saying they didn't use none. That's what I'm saying. If condom they just if they, if they if they were if the whole thing was just like man we we fucking fucking just use a condom. I wonder if birth became easy to her. Oh yeah, you know you ever like, hear about those people who didn't know they were pregnant until the baby mm-hmm, came out? Mm-hmm. They're just standing there like. And oh, I was pregnant. They get just, like just stomach cramps, out. really mm-hmm. bad stomach they think cramps. They had the, the boo boo. Mm-hmm. They go to the toilet and a baby mm-hmm. falls into the toilet. <laughs> there was a whole show about that. What? There was a whole show. Like I, I think it was called "I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant." Great name. Mm-hmm. Straight to the point. Mm-hmm. I didn't know I was pregnant. I watched a few episodes and I was like, "Yo, all right." Like, well, my stomach hurts, so I went to the doctor. Boom. This is a lot of vagina talk. So you want to keep it going? It's adjacent. Vagina adjacent. Mm-hmm. Okay. But kind of. Maybe maybe you'll see what I'm talking about. This is your fact, yeah? This is my fact. Okay. Right. So, one of my favorite movies, one of the most critically acclaimed movies of all time, The Matrix. Oh, that's one right? of your faves? I love The Matrix. Okay. Great, great concept. Makes you, you like kind of rethink. The, the recent one that came out? I didn't see it. It's not recent. It I don't like when people, when movies take too long for a sequel. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like don't it's part it. of it. Don't do it. Um... So one of the most iconic things about the Matrix is the the aesthetic, those green mm-hmm. numbers and mm-hmm. codes and stuff. And you think it's binary, and you think that 
It has to do with the concept of uh, the movie itself, which is like, you know, we're all living in a simulation. These are mm -hmm. all codes for what's going on around us. This code is for the curtains behind me. This code is for how I blink. I always thought it was a bunch of eights. <laughs> um, it, they're like different numbers. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was binary code, which is usually what, zeros and ones? Mm -hmm. Turns out, it, it was just revealed, that the falling green code in the Matrix is just loads of random sushi recipes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was vagina adjacent. You feel me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hell nah. So apparently, the iconic green falling code in the Matrix may seem like a deep, mysterious symbol of the virtual world, but in reality, it's based on something far simpler sushi re recipes. So, Simon Whiteley, uh, or Whitley, um, the designer behind the code, revealed that he scanned characters from his wife's Japanese cookbooks to create the now famous digital rain. Uh, the text is actually a combination of Japanese katakana uh, numbers and letters, which was meant to represent complex code, but it's really just food, blending the mundane with the profound, which aligns with the Matrix theme of reality not being what it seems. All of that stuff That's in the back. That's funny as hell. There's probably so much out there like that. Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. Yep. I love Easter eggs. Because mm -hmm. I feel like it's a not everything has to just be profound sometimes you just need certain things and a lot of directors do that they might include things from their hometown or something like right. that um fillers mm -hmm. or the names are people that they know in real life just stuff like little nods that if you know you know if you don't you know mm -hmm. all right well that was really good how did you find that <laughs> did you that I, I actually felt like I waited a long time to say that because that kind of went viral a few weeks ago. Um, mm. I just didn't, I didn't know when to bring it. All right, well, this this episode's already pretty sexual. <laughs> so, so are you going to keep it going or something? I am. Wow. I am. I was going to do something creepy, but let's do something disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So, my thread. Wait, where'd it go? Whoa. You have your thread? Yep. I can't find mine for some reason. Okay. So, my thread Here it is. is, hmm, I wonder if I should switch it to the vagina one. Yeah, you should. I'm going to go ahead and switch go it to that. the vagina one. Go find that. I found mine. One. Mine is... um. What is a sexual fantasy you do not recommend fulfilling? <laughs> <laughs> I've always said this, like, I remember when I was a kid and I uh, discovered the porn, the porn mm. website, just a search engine of whatever you Ooh, want. We that's when you That's when you find out, you know, like, as a young man, you're just like, oh, I think I like this. I think I like this. I think mm -hmm. I like this. The biggest mistake I ever made was going to the categories section mm -mm. because... I mean, the with, floodgates. When it comes to porn, you just should search for what you like and choose between that. Never, ever, ever go into the categories because that's just what everybody likes. I and you are scoured be horrified. every single category I, in the list. I was a kid and I was seeing stuff that didn't even make sense. It was like pirate. And I was like, what the hell is pirate porn? You know, like, <laughs> it was just like what everybody else likes. And I, I don't want to know what everybody mm -hmm. else likes. And I remember I saw this thing called self-facial. And I'm not going to go into it. Oh, I can. I've seen that before. I just, all I needed was a screenshot. I didn't even click the video. And I was I've like, seen that. oh, my God, I never want to know what I, other people like. I've seen that. So. Um, before. Yeah. So. And it wasn't porn. It wasn't porn? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it was one person? Um, I witnessed. Oh, you witnessed it. I've witnessed it. Oh, Sophie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've witnessed that. Ooh. Okay, mine is any tips for hygiene down there? And this is coming from a girl. So it's about female hygiene. So girls giving other girls tips on how to keep it nice and fresh and clean and healthy mm -hmm. and, and flourishing down there. Yep. So... I could I could just do the the main one for dudes. Stop sticking it everywhere. That's <laughs> well, the, that's definitely the best hygiene. Stop uh, letting your 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 homie go out into the snow without a coat. Well, that is definitely 
kind of like the main one. Yeah. In this one is like only have sex with one with one man. Dirty um, box. Yeah, because that that uh, pH balance can definitely get thrown off, and you don't want to have to keep taking probiotics because or boric acid or something because. Mm-hmm. One person, and it's not even that they're giving you a STD or anything like that. It's just that they're throwing your your stuff off. You know, right. they can't, you can't keep it together because this person is sticking it everywhere. And even if they don't have a disease, it's just the 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 hormone balance is just not there. Sure. And okay, well, yeah. I'm gonna go first because mine's more fun. Okay. Save that educational clean box. You're going to love this. You're going to love no, no, it. So I'm, sure I'm, I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot. Mm-hmm. But starting first, what is a sexual fantasy that you do not recommend fulfilling? Pig Think fucking. Of yours. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, that shouldn't just be doing it all. <laughs> that all was right. a Black Mirror episode. This first one I couldn't agree more with. Mile High Club. Trust me, these bathrooms are getting smaller and smaller, and people notice, they always notice. And then somebody followed up and said, I genuinely don't understand how people wouldn't notice unless you were in first class or something. Pretty much every time you go to the toilet on a plane, there's people waiting outside. You can't even I've can't never even got do it in way. first class. I feel like this has always been something that may have been promoted by people flying private or something yeah. like that. It seems I've never been on a pl- private plane, but it seems like, you know. Rappers are bringing a bunch of girls that they smash. Mm-hmm. The movies make it seem like the flight attendants are smashing mm-hmm. too. You know, a lot of stuff like that. But from what I've known, you know, any plane, any uh, class, you know, economy, business first. Mm-hmm. The the bathrooms are way too small. They smell weird. You go outside. I even have. I don't want to touch the walls. Time. I don't want to touch anything. And then. Mm. You know, the I don't even want to do number two in there because you come outside and you're looking at seven people who are like waiting to pee. And then you're mm-hmm. like, yeah, sorry. You know, I've been t- sitting too close to a, a, a restroom. Oh, yeah. And the doo-doo smell is everywhere. Mm-hmm. So it's like I have never seen um, a, a plain bathroom I wanted to have sex in. And then just like. What are you a sex addict? Like, just right. wait. I, you know, <laughs> up until recently, I've, I've, I haven't been on a, uh, a flight for more than you know twelve, fourteen hours. So it's like, nigga, you going to you going to Maine, and it takes five, six hours, and you have to smash, and, right. and it just seems unsanitary, not fun, and weird. Now you know, in Las Vegas, they have a um, a company that. Specialized for that, yeah. Uh huh. But it looks like a motel on the inside to me. It does oh, really? not look sanitary. I know people who have done that. It does not look clean. So I think in cases like that, if you're trying to do that, let that be like the the environment that you do that in if you want to get that off somehow. But, if but it's you like can't even see, like, the whole company is about fucking in the air. Like, yeah. I, I would be like looking around, it's like, like, ugh. It's like semen a semen everywhere. It's a, yeah, it's a bed in there, but the, no. it look, it didn't, it didn't look That's as... like a seedy hooker hotel. <laughs> it looked horrible. Sex is sex. I don't need to be high up. But I, I, <laughs> I've taken first class uh, a lot. And I haven't, I haven't seen anyone um, unless I was asleep. But most of the time, when I have to use the restroom or if I'm awake, the flight attendants are right there. Even if there's no line, the flight attendants are constantly like doing something right, right there, there where right. where the bathroom is. So it'd so be like, why why be a sexual deviant? Yeah, it'd be really hard to get that off to me. But but people do it. All right, next one. Every time this gets asked, I just think of that poor bastard who thought he had a poop fetish and realized he didn't as a woman was pooping on him. Oh. So he just liked to watch it? Why did you think that? Because he liked to watch it. He said, I thought of that instantly, too, when I read the title. If I remember correctly, wasn't it in his mouth? Or on on your chest is one thing, but imagine realizing you're not into shit play whilst holding a mastiff turd in your mouth. It's a crazy time to be like, you know what? I don't like this. (laughs) I don't. I don't think I like this. No, that's so unsanitary. That can cause so many health issues. But that's your fault. I don't understand. Like, you thought you really thought that you liked shit, and then got mad when it smelled like shit and tasted like shit. <laughs> Why did you think you wanted that? There's there's people who will watch certain things but don't want to do it, and but don't. I guess I guess they get off so hard on it that. They're like, okay, I have to try this. That's how it works, you know? Mm-hmm. 
and until yeah, it's like a checklist thing. Yeah, and know. now I mean, you fucked around and you found out. <laughs> Most having sex in a an unusual place fantasies, in my experience, quickly turn into a lesson on why uh, you usually just use the bed. He said, uh, I remember having sex at the top of a mountain hike with an amazing view years ago. Super worth it. Glad we brought a blanket, though. Oh, that was a that was a conflicting yeah. point of view. Those are two different people, by the way. Oh. Uh, said, honey, my boyfriend had that idea. You destroy every service you touch. You'll be cleaning it like you're cleaning glitter. Food was one of those things. Mm-hmm. I thought, like, food and, like, I think they used to, um, I don't see it ever anymore, but they used to, like, uh, whip make cream? whipped cream and chocolate sauce mm-hmm. seem like a good idea. Mm-mm. And I remember whipped cream, maybe, but like, <laughs> I still see this visual. In college, I, I I let this girl use like chocolate sauce and I will never forget. It seemed like a cartoon. She was down there doing some stuff, oh, right? Oh, God. And it was she, all over her face. She came up and it was like Ugh. how like Tyrone Biggums was eating <laughs> doo doo. <laughs> Like a crack, yeah, just like chocolate around her mouth, and I was like, "This is over." We're cl- like, it, it ridiculously disgusting. Like Ooh, food, play you didn't leak is... it off her face. No, absolutely <laughs> not. That's crazy. Um, uh, yeah, food play. <clears throat> I remember whipped cream gave me a yeast infection. <laughs> Well, that's like, gross. Well, I mean, it a is little, what it is. A little butter on that bread. Yeah, a little, little bread box. Um, but Ew. no, no, that sugar and all that stuff being down there is not, stuff it's that's not good sticky. No. for being down there. I never that, thought of that part even, of it. Even uh, baby great. oil. Baby oil, not baby good, oil is in good the for like, JJ. Not no, no, good. No. But like the for the foreplay, I still like baby oil because there's like that stuff where both people are baby oil and they're just like, Slip and slide on each other. That's just fun to me. It's <laughs> not even done, sexual. I have I've never done baby oil play. I, it's not like oh baby oil play like Diddy party mm-hmm. stuff. It's just like using just baby oil to like massage or something. Okay, and then you get one, and then when y'all are y'all are like all slippery. Mm-hmm. It's like the good version of sweat. Some people like sweating all over each other, and mm-hmm. I I don't I don't like that. I'm down for the sweat. It's usually women that are like yes, yeah, s- yeah, have that sweat drip like, on. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me. It's nice and manly. This one is tough. To each their own, but I can't imagine the post-nut clarity after you getting cucked and watching a stranger Uh-oh. pound your wife. My brain can't comprehend how men are into that. So imagine, it's one thing being like, I think I'm into poop. And then a girl starts pooping on you and you're like, this is awful. Mm-hmm. Imagine being like, I think I want to watch my wife get hammered. And then halfway through, you're just like, Tears start falling. Oh my god! I don't like this, but it's like, too late. Oh man! Then he start taking it out on her. Like you liked that, didn't you? You liked that a little too much. She want to do it again. You tripping? Like it was your idea. I you thought, opened the door. I thought there was a cu- okay. Someone said I was the other guy cucking a couple. The partner started crying, so I stopped, and w- uh, the partner started begging me to finish her. I just felt oh, he, bad. It was tears of joy. No, 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 no. Oh. No, no. He was saying, I was the other guy cucking a couple. So he was the one smashing the wife. Right. The partner that was, the dude that was watching, the husband, started crying. Mm-hmm. He st- it wasn't the the person who was watching that. Uh, no, like, the, the the husband that was crying to begged him to finish. No, right? the, the, the wife. So oh. he agreed to it thinking he wanted that. Then he started crying. And so he stopped because he felt bad. And the wife was like, finish me! Like Mortal Kombat. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> no way. Jesus. Oh, this one's kind of rough. He said, uh, I once saw 10 seconds of a video where a girl started crying while her man filmed her with another guy. It was clear she wasn't into it and he pressured no. her. I turned it off immediately and it's still stuck in my head. Oh, I can't no. watch I can't no, watch any no. type of porn where it seems like the girl isn't into it. That no. is a, that's a weird fetish. That's wicked as fuck. No, no, no. Someone said, sex out in the des- desert at night coming back from Vegas. Creepy crawly desert things don't sleep at night. That means a scorpion went up his booty. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to discover any rodents, any insects, any. I don't even want the dust from. I don't want none of that touching me. So, mm-hmm. mm-mm. someone said library. There are cameras everywhere, and you'll get caught. I don't know what whose fetish is to smash. And oh, you yours? 
that I dart was weird. <clears throat> I mean, you know, you live, you only live once. So, I mean, I've 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 had I've had a little play in the, library. in the library. You smashed in the library. I didn't have sex in the library, but we we had a little foreplay. What what book section were you in? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was in a study group the in Atlas. college, and this <laughs> this girl started playing porn, and I was like, hmm. And she 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 was looking at me weird. I wasn't really attracted to her, but she was like, um, just like playing it for me because it was just us. And I was like, hmm. And then like. Maybe like a few hours later, I was like, oh. She was trying to get down and dirty. I don't think but that But if would. you didn't want it, you didn't pick nah. up on it because you didn't like her. Mm-hmm. Food play. We talked about that. Uh, I found out the hard way that if you stick your dick in a glass of red wine, the wine goes right up your pee hole and it really stings a lot. What, does this no nigga got a dick straw? Shit, Sherlock. I mean. This nigga put it in a glass of wine? Why would that be like, part of it? Why why would that be part of it? <laughs> Slam dunks his dick right in the cabernet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A mess. I do mean, you have a do you have something that you feel like you would never fulfill for somebody else? Uh given the state of my DMs, yes, there's quite a few things that I will not fulfill. Like what? Uh, any kind of poot play. Um, pooping, and, pooping and peeing. No, poot. poot. You're not going to yeah. fart on a nigga face? Not, no, 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 not intentionally. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it happens during the session every, you know, every now and then, but it's not intentional. Um not really into foot play. Oh yeah, or, or anything like that. The, the soul jerk off <laughs> at the bottom of the. I don't. Mm-hmm. I so I, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to yuck anyone's yums, as mm-hmm. they say. But um, if I was into that, I'd be concerned. <laughs> Why? I mean, just like what we were saying with the flashlight. If if a if a woman clapped her feet together and started <laughs> doing this, and I was like, yeah, I would. Afterwards, I would be like, <laughs> "What is up?" And I would just be afraid of ever going the back. Progression? To that. No, yeah, I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go back. I don't even. I I can't even really do butt play like that. I mean, I, I've never had anal. Never a butt plug. Never had a butt plug. There's nothing. Literally, there's nothing the ever been thing. in my asshole. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared of that stuff because it's like you know, Miss B Nasty. Mm-hmm. That, that famous porn star. Mm-hmm. She's trending on Twitter right now. I was reading it uh, a couple hours ago. And for some reason, everybody doesn't like her now. Like, people Why? used to love what her. What did she do? Apparently, and there was mm-hmm. a video. I wouldn't watch it. Apparently, there was a video because her whole thing is putting her legs up and doing stuff right in the camera. Okay. Apparently, she was using a butt plug. She pulled it out. It had shit all over it. And she put it in her mouth. <gasps> and ATM? Then, I'm sorry? Oh, ass to mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, well, a lot of a lot of girls do that with butt plugs, but it's but supposed with- to be it's supposed to be completely clean. But apparently, she re- realized too late, and then did an apology video like, "I'm so sorry, I didn't know there was shit on it." And everybody was like, "Yeah, fucking right, that's disgusting." And now people don't like her for some reason. But it's Aww. just like, I it was an accident. Yeah, but okay. it's also like maybe she's used to doing that, and she if when this you see time somebody she eat shit, it's hard to go back. Mm. That is a, that is a line well, that is hard to cross. She probably gained a new demographic uh, out with the old and with the new. Ugh, she, I'm she, queasy she, there's, now. There's so many people that's into poop play like that that she may have, Ugh. you know, accidentally. Right, and now her know, comments trail. are in shambles if they uh, weren't already. Damn. All right. Well, Man. that was enough uh, disgustingness. Let's learn how to clean a vagina. Yay! All right. So this one is any mm-hmm. tips for hygiene down there, and this. Is for the ladies. Um, now, some of these are given, but you know what? This could help someone. Gyno appointments. Make sure you go see your gynecologist. Of course. Um, one man. And that is across the board. Like, most of these I had to keep scouring because there was like, just one man. Just have sex with one person. Just have sex with one person. Don't go raw. Um, so... One man, don't go raw. So even I guess even with that man, don't go raw. 
I guess. Um, and I need to look at the difference between the pH balance in penises versus vagina. I'm sure vaginas are more acidic, but yeah. Um, acid, how they acid actually, bucks. Mm-hmm. Um, go to your OBGYN and stop complaining to social media about cat advice. <laughs> are, are all of these just go to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Most of them were. Um, squat to wash. Now I never I I do that often because most of, most of the time after I have sex I'll squat to wash down there but I never thought it as a thing like as advice to give you know so seeing you someone do it every say time, squat that seems like advice no I do it I only do that after sex and I don't know why I just do it yeah. but when I wash like when I take a shower I don't squat to wash. When I take my showers, yeah, that'd be you know what I'm ridiculous. saying. Yeah, it is, but this—that's what I'm saying. I don't think to ever really give that um, as advice. Um, she said, "Use water only, child, please." No, no. What you be using? Soap? Fuck no. Yeah, I thought soap yeah. can do damage. No, no, you're not supposed to put soap inside, but you're you supposed to wash all around it, you know. But okay, so water, same rules as a penis. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, no soap inside. Eat your fruits and veggies. Stop using lubes. Sanitize your toys after each use and let them air dry before storing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I learned that the hard way in college. Well, I didn't learn the hard way. I just, I wasn't going about it a great way. Mm. I was using, I was using the same thing on a couple of couple of vaginas oh so you was out here just passing out bread huh it would get it would pr- that's passing crazy. out bread recipes that's crazy that's crazy <laughs> you still that's it. crazy that's passing so... out bread like a like a duck pond <laughs> <laughs> passing out bread to the birds I was tossing bread uh, slices of bread for any beak that would <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it probably had the like the dry crust uh, i think i the rinsed coochie it. crust I think I rinsed it, but that would be it. Oh my God, you was out I'm here horrified when I think about doctor it. appointments. Yeah, when I think about it, I'm horrified. Um, no one ever said anything though. Um, they was probably embarrassed. Well, they didn't know where it came from. If they didn't know where it came from, I guess every a lot of people had their whole phases in college. You know? No, no, for sure. But I mean, at the same time, it's like they couldn't really. They probably never considered me because I was wrapping it up. So they probably were like, "Where who is this from?" you know. If that but, but what I'm saying is if you have to say who is this from? No, of course. Then you were in your whole phase and a lot of people had their whole phases in college. So mm-hmm. even if they have to choose between two, you and somebody else. <laughs> Y'all are some skeezers. <laughs> skeezers. I remember uh this is off topic and I mean, this is the oversharing episode. Why not? Yeah, let me hear. So, it. the first and really only, this is the only one. Okay, look at me with a good, good little score. The only call I ever got about like, I got the, I got the cl, the <laughs> chlamyd. It was, you you know, gave somebody chlamydia. Let me finish. Ooh! She, uh, she called me and she was like crying. I remember I was like at my friend's house. I, I had to walk outside his apartment. And she was like crying. She said that she had chlamydia. She just got tested. And then uh, she was like blaming me. She said, uh, she told me, but also like go get tested. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I did this to this poor girl. <laughs> Man, my first chlamydia test. <laughs> they, they came out, They because this is before they could tell you over the phone. Mm-hmm. They came out and they're like, no, you're good. And I was mm-hmm. like, are you sure? I I asked, I went back into the back with the doctor and talked to him. And he had that like, yeah, man. You know, like he he was professional, but he was just like, yeah, she fucking somebody else. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, <laughs> so I, I had to deal with the phone call. This was your girlfriend? No, no, no. This was Uh-oh. just like a girl I was like seeing. Okay. But like, I think she was... I didn't think she was oh, wild like you, that. You thought you was the only one? I didn't think she was wild like that. Damn. You know. Um, but yeah, I had to go through the craziness of my first test, then mm-hmm. the scaredness of if I had it. Then I got the it was like a it was so bittersweet because it's like, you don't have it. And I was like, 
whew, wait a minute. Ah! And I was like, you sure? <laughs> and then I went into the back and talked to the doctor. And he was just like, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> and I was like, Damn. Bet right. that up. Yeah. Well, I mean, you wrapped it up with her, so. Or did you? I did. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know. When you get that call, you're just like, you don't really think like, you know. You I, thought couldn't, like. Couldn't it, be me. It, right. You thought it was for sure like, oh, shit. I done fucked up. Because from my understanding, like the with different STDs, like for men and women, it like may take longer for men to see like symptoms than for women. Even with a blood test? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm talking about symptoms, uh, symptomology. So you could you could have it, you know, and you could have it for a week and then start seeing symptoms. But if you gave it to her within that week, she could start showing symptoms way before you or vice versa. I don't know. Well, I didn't you know. Have it. But the good thing was you didn't have it. Yep. And the it's good thing, thing is you found out, mm-hmm. you know. You found out you wasn't the only, you wasn't the only. I wasn't the only chip that was wasn't dipping. Only the hot dog. You wasn't the only hot dog in the soup. I, what? <laughs> I like mine better. Soup water. You wasn't the only hot dog in the, in the, the water. Only, I wasn't the only chip in the salsa. You wasn't the only. <laughs> Man, keep going. You're, 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 whatever this is, you're not doing well. I am doing well. Um. Okay, eat your fruits and veggies, of course. Drink lots of water and coconut water. Um, okay. Use sensitive soap on the outside, never on the inside. Um, ride the inside with what? Rinse the inside with water. And a lot of fe- females don't know to lift up that hood and make sure it's clean <laughs> in there, too. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. If it's gunk or green or just gunk, go see a doctor. <laughs> green? Green? First of all. If it's green, then that means it probably smells and that might be like probably bac- bacterial vaginosis. Anything or green like that. is going to be horrifying news. Yeah, green is 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 really bad. Um take your probiotics daily. Pineapple juice, cranberry juice, lime, and honey. This cleanses your kitty, plus takes the smell away and makes your cat taste good. Um, huh. yeah. I thought there was going to be more like household items in this list, like boric acid. Get some, get some baking soda and some white, you know, white rice vinegar or something, and mix it together with a pinch of paprika, and then rub that in your pussy. That, like Jesus that's what I thought. Christ, paprika! You trying to burn? I'm us just up. saying. Like I'm, I, 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 I thought that there'd be more like household stuff. No, so you looking for homeopathic like, remedies? No, like DIYs. You know, or well, not S DIY stuff. <laughs> oh, damn it! You scared me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the S for? <laughs> Do um, it yourself, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Do it yourself, stupid. <laughs> uh, stay celibate. They say don't even fuck men, period. Um, cranberry pills to help with your urinary tract health. What the fuck is a cranberry pill? They Okay, so they have cranberry, um, like little cranberry pills to help you, especially if you get like a, a UTI or something like that, or you you might be at the beginning stages of UTI or something like that. You could take uh, cranberry supplements, drink a lot of water. You can kind of flush it juice. out. You can you can drink cranberry juice too. It's not as concentrated. Um, I like honestly. Um, I get these like organic juices from. They have them at Ralph's. They have them at Sprouts. But Ooh, I get the organic ones that are bitter as hell. Yeah, it's bitter as fuck. Cran- organic cranberry juice is nasty. That's as when you fuck. start to realize Ocean Spray was adding some other oh, stuff. Oh, Ocean Spray was full of sugar, mm-hmm. like for real. Have you ever seen but, a cranberry farm where the niggas with the them the cranberries knee high, are nasty? The, they got the big boots and they're and walking they around in, in no no no. It's like water up to their waist, and there's cranberries mm. floating in it. Hmm. You never seen those? Mm-mm. It's crazy. Yeah, they used to have ocean spray uh, commercials with two farmers, and th- that's how they made cranberries. And that's when I was just mm. like, "Oh, this is gross." Mm. Yeah, yeah, but OG cranberry juice, like organic cranberry juice, is nasty as fuck. But is that what I the OG was it. for? Organic? <laughs> 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 never Hell heard it yeah. used like that. OG cranberry juice for real. 
But I mean, I drink that shit. Like, I drink that. I drink um, organic pineapple juice. Then I have some like organic mixes that they have. Like, it's it's really good. Um, oh, stick your finger in the hole and clean it out every Whoa. time you wash yourself down there. Uh, what? I don't know. What that Pee means. before and after sex. Um, if I go pee before, I don't really have to pee after like that. But sometimes I'll squirt during sex and still have to pee afterwards. For y'all who think it's just all pee. Yeah, I feel like niggas have to pee afterwards for for whatever reason. I wonder if squirting during sex kind of sanitizes like a little bit you know how urine is supposed to like get it all out you know that's why they say pee after sex because it it helps like clear out anything that might have gotten in there you know have a urethra no right that's just us (laughs) what y'all got what's the what's the tunnel that goes up into the tubes fallopian we do have fallopian tubes they go up and around your urethra is specific to penises right um, I'm not talking to Mike. Oh, your urethra is between the inner lips, the labia minora of your vulva, where labia it resides minora. below your clitoris and above your gi- vagina opening. Labia minora sounds like decoration in your house. Like this is my labia minora. Cost thirty thousand dollars. You should put one. You should put one up. What? You like should a put chandelier? it up like a mistletoe. Mm-hmm. Every time. Would you, you go kiss under me under the gotta... labia? <laughs> <laughs> so, in the grand scheme of things, these are things we probably already knew. Don't be out here just giving it to anybody, especially raw. Eat your fruit, fruits and veggies. Drink your water. Take cranberry, your cranberry so- pills. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I take um, go to the doctor. I take raw probiotics. Oh. That's the name. Wow, really. That's the name of the brand. Okay. It's called Raw. It's in a pink box. Uh Um, Pink box, huh? It's next level. I wonder if they did this. That's that's what I'm saying. That's next level marketing. (laughs) Is Is it brown on the outside? No, it's not brown. (laughs) Like the booty hole. All right. Um, That's enough pussy talk. (laughs) That is enough pussy talk. This was a. You pussied out? Nah, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I'm pussied out. Um, yeah, the next episode is going to be pretty, uh, pretty family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the show started off very, very Ooh. sexual. Yeah. Then we leveled out and being like, okay, this could be anything. Mm-hmm. But then we dip into it. But when we dip, we, we dipped. dipped. We dipped, dippled, and dappled. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we dipped like a. We dipped this episode like thick. <laughs> guacamole um <laughs> but um hope you guys enjoyed i hope you learned how to clean your pussy <laughs> uh, <laughs> i'm sure you already knew but sometimes we need reminders sometimes we need reminders eat your veggies mm. eat your fruits take your cranberry supplements drink and your just water wash that cat you drink your saying? water stop letting stray dogs into that cat. lift under that hood and get the gunk out yep oh, <laughs> gunk might be my least favorite word <laughs> Well, all right. Um, this has been another episode of uh, Thick Threads. I've been Patrick Cloud. And I'm Chris. We will see you guys next week. Bye.